In this video, I'm gonna show you five herbicides I'm using regularly in my lawn care business and you can use on your own lawn as well. Today's video is sponsored by Graham Spray Equipment. This is my 400 gallon split tank come from Graham Spray Equipment. It has served me well for years. If you're looking for a spray rig for your business, go to GrahamSE.com or give those guys a call. These products in no particular order and these are not the only products I'm using, but I thought if there was five products that I could go out there and try to knock out every lawn with, I believe I could make a lot of stuff happen with these five right here. Number one on the list, again, no particular order as far as importance goes, but this one is Resolute. You can see this is the 4FL version, so it's a liquid version. It comes in other forms, granular and things like that, but you see here the active ingredient is prodiamine. So this is what I'm using early in the year. I'm typically only using this once a year, and I use it in our area. I'm in Alabama, and we will spray this in January and February to get it out ahead of the crabgrass. Extremely effective for crabgrass and other warm season weeds. You can also use it later in the year in the fall as a fall pre-emergent and it will work great on those as well, but not quite as well as another product I'm gonna show you later in the video. I often tell people if you're only gonna do one treatment of the year on our lawns here, at least in my area, then I would blanket application with prodiamine, especially on like a Bermuda lawn. Typically, if you don't get your blanket application down on Bermuda lawn, it is gonna be covered with weeds, particularly crabgrass and take over. The reason I know that is because I see sometimes when you spray a lawn and you leave just a little area near a shrub or, or there might be a rose bush out in the middle of the yard and you can't spray right up to it, then even that small bit you miss sometimes will be covered with weeds and you think, wow, what if the whole yard looked like that? It would be terrible. So, so Prodiamine, very effective ingredient. I'll typically mix this. What I did this year, I was mixing it with Change Up and Metzulfuron in my round one application and getting the Change Up and Metzulfuron are great. It's post-emergent products to get rid of any existing weeds and, and the Resolute is going to help uh, get ahead of the warm season weeds coming up. Now in the fall, if you use it there, you're trying to get ahead of your cool season weeds and you might mix it with something like 2,4-D or and, uh, Simazine to help if you had some weeds that had already germinated. Second on the list is Celsius and, and Celsius is not the only product I use for spot treating weeds, but if I had one go-to combination for spot treating weeds, I'm going to go with Celsius and the other product over here, Certainty. So you can uh, put those as number two and three on the list if you want. And what I like about them is I can spray them on Bermuda, Zoysia, Centipede, St. Augustine. Now these products are not labeled for your cool season grasses. Matter of fact, we use them to get rid of cool season grasses out of our warm season grass. And both these products, both Celsius and Certainty, are effective on broadleaf weeds, sedges, and also grassy weeds. And so when you combine them together, I mean, there's almost no weed in my area that it's not gonna have at least some effectiveness on when I'm using Celsius and Certainty combined. Now that's not a combination I'm gonna go out there and just blanket out over the entire yard because that could get quite pricey. But I'll mix it in a two gallon spray or something like this over here and I will be spot treating weeds in the summer or even in the winter time. Change Up is one of the products I use a lot and it may look like a bigger jug and when you get the price tag, it's gonna be 200 and something dollars or maybe even 300 and something dollars depending on the time of this video. But, but I can use Change Up in a little two gallon spray sprayer like here and put three quarters of an ounce per gallon of water with a little bit of surfactant and I'll mix it with a sedge product like Pro Sedge or something and that's great for spot treating in the summer but also I find myself using it again like I said in round one uh, early in the year I was putting change up at a low low rate of 12 ounces per acre mixed with a quarter ounce of Metzofuron and that was a great combination to help control a lot of weeds it works very fast and uh, again, at those low rates, it's not too expensive when applied. It's actually gonna be a cheaper product when applied at those low rates than Celsius and Certainty. Again, if I, I like the diversity of Celsius and Certainty that I can use on Bermuda, Zoysia, Centipede, St. Augustine, and I'm gonna get virtually any weed I'm gonna run across. So it just simplifies things. The last one I'm gonna mention here is Spectacle Flow. So Spectacle is a pre-emergent, and I'll typically use this in the fall. And what I try to do with it is it, it's just a better, product in my opinion at controlling poa annua which is a common weed that we have now again spectacles not one you're going to use on your cool season grasses that would not go well for you but when i apply spectacle and it's very expensive i'll just go ahead and tell you that this uh, time of this video this one gallon jug is about 1900 dollars. okay so you uh, probably buy a used car for that but 
On the good news, uh, I apply it at six and a half ounces per acre, um, so it does go a long, long way. So it's not crazy expensive when you think about it that way. Also, I started uh, applying it in May, uh, April and May, to get ahead of some of the summer weeds. So it does a great job at helping to control things like dove weed, kalinga, and a lot of the, the summer annual weeds that we deal with, like spurge and chamber bitter and things like that. So I got great results at suppressing the kalinga and things by using Spectacle in, in May but also using it in September and October mixed with a simazine mixed with 2,4-D is a great fall combination for your warm season lawns. Now, if you got uh, centipede or St. Augustine grass, then you might want to leave the 2,4-D out and I just go with a lower rate of speckle, uh, four ounces, just in the fall mixed with a simazine. Uh, on the centipede and St. Augustine lawns, I don't use spectacle in the spring. Hey, I've got a lot of herbicides in my mixture, but I think sometimes just a practical tip here, I think sometimes people overcomplicate things and they, they think, hey, I've got to have that perfect herbicide for each individual weed. So like, what's the absolute best herbicide for this weed or the best herbicide for that weed? But sometimes you can kind of simplify it and, and get five herbicides here that would give you a situation that might not be perfect for every weed, but it's going to make you very, very good on almost any weed you're going to run into, again, on a warm season lawn. Now, there's probably combination products like that for cool season lawns as well. I know a lot of people are using tenacity and things like that. So, Also, I've helped a lot of people get into weed control and fertilization, so if you're looking for advice on that and courses, video courses, pricing charts, things of that nature, go to LawnCareLife.com. I've been working with two marketing companies I want to mention quickly. There's a link in the description for both these companies. One is Footbridge media they do my website SEO help me get Google reviews all for $1.99 a month they could do the same for you if you use the link it's normally $2.49 but with my link it's $1.99 per month the other is Lightspeed Social Agency and they run digital ads like Facebook ads and they what I like about them is they can target specific neighborhoods so I have just hired them they are working with me helping me promote courses and things like that but also working with my actual lawn care business to help me target specific neighborhoods to run on Facebook ads help me get customers in neighborhoods where I'm already established and I can improve on that route density. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Creel. Let me know what you would adjust about your list, particularly if you're dealing with warm season lines. Which products would you use if you only had five to choose from? And if you're dealing with cool season lines, I'd like to know some of the most common products that you're using for your weed control options. We'll see you guys in the next video.